Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tastetutes.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create kaleidoscope style images in Adobe Photoshop. Now, I find this effect quite interesting. Depending on the image you use, you can create some extraordinary results. So these are some examples I have prepared earlier. In some instances, I have chose to create full patterns. In another, I have chosen to present a single example. And in other examples, I have layered images on top of each other to create interesting contrasts. If you would like to see these examples, you can find them in the project folder. This project folder can be downloaded for free, the link is in the description. Now, all of these images are based on images repeated in a hexagon shape, and in some instances joined together to create what look like infinite patterns. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own kaleidoscope images and how you can create full page textures. So, let's get into it. Now, I could show you how to build your hexagon shapes from scratch, but that would take a while and that would take the fun out of it. So to help you, I have created special work documents and Photoshop actions to speed this process up. This will enable you to instantly create your own hexagon kaleidoscope images and get creative right away. So before we begin, you will need to download the project folder. This can be found in the description. Once you have downloaded the project folder, come into Photoshop and call up your actions panel. To create your kaleidoscope images, you will first need your actions panel open. If you cannot see your actions panel, you can come to window, scroll down to actions and activate it there. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to put my Actions panel out from the main workspace so you can see this more clearly. Once you can see your Actions panel, come to the Project folder and open up the Actions folder. In this folder, you should find a pre-saved Actions set. To install this, simply double-click on the Photoshop Action file. This should then open Photoshop. Now, don't worry if you don't see anything happen. This is normal. Though, come into your Actions panel, and if you can see the Kaleidoscope Action Set, you know you have successfully installed the actions. Great! Now, if you look carefully in the Action Set, you will find two actions, Hexagon 1 and Hexagon 2. Now it's time to come back into the Project folder and look in the PSD folder. In this folder, you will see two documents, Hexagon 1 and Hexagon 2. So, open them both up in Photoshop, and let's start with hexagon 1. So here is a document I have prepared earlier, and this is going to make it really easy for you to create your own kaleidoscope images. So upon first glance, we can see it's a square document with a half triangle shape in the middle with a grey background. If we look carefully in the layers folder, we can see that there is a layer group folder called unit guide, and I have coloured this in red. Applied to this folder is a layer mask in the shape of a triangle in the canvas area. Inside this layer folder we have a solid white base layer. Now this is here so you can clearly see the triangle shape. So once you are ready to create your image, first you will need to source an image to use. I have this image I have previously purchased from a royalty free website. So this is just an ordinary image of a butterfly, right? Now check this out. So I'm going to copy this image into the template document, come into the unit guide folder, click on the white base layer and press command V to paste. It's very important you come into the folder group and paste your image on top of the white base layer. Now this layer will be pasted into the layer group and due to the layer mask being applied to the folder, this will apply to whatever layer is inside the folder. So now it's a case of moving my image around inside the layer folder, scaling up or down until I get a position I am happy with. Once I am happy, it's time to turn the, to the Actions panel. Now here is where the magic happens. Now it's important to mention that you use the right action with the right document. So we are currently using the Hexagon 1 template. So once you are ready to create your kaleidoscope image, you will need to trigger the Hexagon 1 action. So be sure to select the Layer folder in the Layers panel, 
Come over to the Actions panel, select the Hexagon 1 action, and hit the Play button at the bottom of the Actions panel. Boom! If you have done these steps correctly, you will then create a hexagon image like so. Now, if you look in the Layers panel, you will have your original folder and a new layer above called Hexagon. Now, you can copy and paste this layer into a new document to use as part of your artwork. So once you have created one example, it's really easy to create another. Simply toggle the visibility of your hexagon layer you just created, place a new image into the folder group on top of the white base layer. This time I'm going to go for this eye image. So I'll paste this in, reposition, and simply select the folder group and hit play on the hexagon one action. And here we have a new hexagon example and the layer in the layers panel. So you can keep doing this action until you have as many examples as you like. Pretty cool, right? So next, I'm going to come into the hexagon two document. And we can see the setup here is very similar to the hexagon one document, though this time we have a different triangle shape. In this document, we can create a different kind of kaleidoscope image. So this time, I'm going to use another image. Since we used a butterfly in the last example, I'm going to use another one here. So just like in the last document, I'll paste in the image into the layer folder, scale up and reposition where I want it to be. On this occasion, I have a lot of white space in the background, so I'm quickly going to fill this with some color. So I'll create a new layer on top of my image in the folder. With the new layer selected, I'll press Command Shift N. Then I'll fill this with a blue color and just change the blending mode to multiply and change the opacity until I have something I am happy with. Once I'm ready, I will then select the layer group folder. Now this is really important. We must always have the layer group folder selected before we trigger the action. I'll come into the actions panel and play the hexagon two action as this is the hexagon two document. Upon click, I will get an interesting image like so. Simple as that. And again, in the layers panel, we will maintain our original folder group and have a new hexagon layer ready to use in other artwork. So that's how to use the two documents to create two different kinds of kaleidoscope images. So I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to make this A3 and I'm going to come into the hexagon one document and I'm going to copy the first example and paste this into my new document. I'll just resize it like so and position it in the middle of my canvas area. Then I'll come into my hexagon two document and copy the next example, come into my new document and paste on top like so. And I'll resize this and make sure it's centered correctly. And if I want to change the color, I can simply press Command U to pull up my hue saturation panel and toggle this until I get another color I am happy with. And if I want to add to the effect, I can rotate a layer to create further impact. So this is an example of how we can use the various kaleidoscope images to create a unique and interesting composition. We started off with two simple images and created something quite interesting. So have a play around with this, experiment, explore and see what you can come up with. Another interesting effect you can get is an infinite kaleidoscope effect. So I have this example of some pencils here. Now in the hexagon 2 document, I'll paste this inside the hexagon 2 folder, scale and position where I would like it to be. I'll make sure I have the folder selected before applying the action. Then I'll play the hexagon two action and I'll create this interesting image here. Now I'll create a new document like before and again copy and paste this example into the new document and then resize. Now this time I'm simply going to duplicate this image and place it next to the other, essentially joining them together like so. I can do this really easy by holding Alt on the keyboard and clicking and dragging on the layer to quickly duplicate it. So I'm going to duplicate and join more images as many times as it takes to fill the canvas area. 
Once I have filled the canvas area, I'm going to come into the Layers panel, click on the top layer, hold Shift and select the bottom layer. With them all selected, I'm going to press Command G. This will group them all together into a single folder. Then with my marquee tool, I'm going to draw a selection over the artwork, about 30 to 50 pixels in from the edge. With my selection active, I'm going to make sure I have the folder selected and then hit the add layer mask button at the bottom of the layers panel. And now I have created a frame around the artwork. Pretty easy, right? So the possibilities for creativity here are endless. So that's how you can create kaleidoscope style images in Adobe Photoshop. So go experiment, use the actions and see what you can create. I'd love to see what you can come up with, so be sure to come paste them up on my Facebook wall or share your artwork on Twitter. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you liked the tutorial, hit the like button on my Facebook page. If you'd like to see more videos like this in future, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, you can download the documents you saw in this tutorial. All links are in the description. Well, that's it for another video, brought to you by tastytutes.com. Thanks for watching, have fun guys, and I'll see you next time.